Yeah, Firepower has this weird issue. He bought the Game of the Year edition of Red Dead Redemption, but it wouldn't let him download Undead Nightmare or Liars and Cheats. Although, I did want to come back when I tell him, say, maybe the Undead Nightmare is because you need to beat the first game first. But then I remembered they sold it as a separate disc you could just play by yourself. Like a separate game. So, it wasn't that. So, <coughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Question is, can I put a team of people together that can go to Vegas and win a million dollars this summer? Mm, playing Destiny. Yes, as long as I'm not on the team, because I'm not good enough. <laughs> Rasputin is the last of the war mines. They were the greatest defense systems ever devised. A massive network of satellites and doomsday weapons built to protect humanity. Porta's army gathers near one of the war mines hidden bunkers. We cannot let the hive destroy Rasputin, or worse, control him. I don't really like that. Satellites and doomsday devices, so some computer can like go, oh, the war's lost, blow up Earth. I don't, I don't no bueno, no likey. What if they came out with, like, ship shraders? Oh, have you guys seen that the, the exotic um, sparrow that looks like a gun? No. There's a secret entrance to the war mine's bunker beneath the Forgotten Shore. Oh, so nice. Uh, on this character? Nice. Yeah, there's an exotic, uh, it looks like Gallahorn almost. It has, like, the, the, the big wolves on the front and stuff. But it, uh, it literally has, like, a, a handle with a trigger on, on the, under the seat. Rest like a gun. Silent, <laughs> it's an exotic sparrow. We cannot let Krota's <laughs> army find a way around the war mine's defenses. Or Krota's disciples will flood the earth. The 
alive? They found a way inside. Don't let them reach Rasputin. Kill them all! Let their butt ugly god sort them out! This is a great, these are great jobs in stories to farm engrams. I already got my 9,000 just since we landed here experience. That's pretty fun. Come here, all you little thralls. Give me some characters to go. You know, somebody was telling me the other day that you get better engrams the less creatures you kill. I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, that doesn't make any sense in any way. There's too many algorithms working to say there's a pattern that you can predict. Find the controls. Make sure the hive haven't <coughs> rescued. I'm, I'm just looking around real quick. Something's wrong. Oh shit, it's teleporting right above us. Silence her screams. With pleasure. <laughs> Damn it. Your strike on the thrall? No, it was a rocket. Oh, rocket! <laughs> I was like, I just saw a flash of light. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I, thought, I thought Angel was the one that died. <laughs> I'm surprised he was pro. I got the le left side. on the ground. God, that was easy. Oh, pro, you made the 32. Nice. You were like almost there last time we played together. Well done, Guardian. Rescue who is safe. Protoss army is more powerful than I thought. We cannot rest. Now is the time to stop them. So if everyone on the show doesn't know later, Rear Runs are live with me right now. There is a deactivated ghost down here. I can't remember if it's right in this one or if it's. It's right over here, I think. It's in one of those under tunnels. There's only like one or two, so it's. Yeah, it's this one, because I came down here looking for. looking for. we're trying to get away from it one time, and I saw it right here. Yeah. So I, I'm going to be laughing because in like a couple of weeks when House of Wolves comes out, I'm just going to go to the Vanguard, buy a couple of sets of armor, and I'll be a 32. <laughs> no yeah. fuss, no muss. <laughs> well, I mean, for the level, I the fact is I just don't like the look of the Crota gear. I mean, for all my characters. I want it for my Warlock, but I don't want it for the rest. So um, 
you know, I think in the end what I'll end up doing, what I think I'll see a lot of people doing is, you know, they'll probably, like, give one character all House of the Wolves, another character all Dark Below, another character all OG release, Vault, Vault, Vault of Glass stuff. Or maybe they'll mix it up. And that's something that's supposed to be coming, too. You won't have to be wearing, like, all Crota to be 32. You could wear, like, a piece of Vault, a piece of Dark Below, a piece of House of the Wolves, one exotic. Kind of mix it up. Nice. Uh, looks like I have to go back in and pick up another mission. Sorry, guys. I hate having to go back to the tower for all this shit in the story. That's why I just kind of want to get it done right now, so we're just done. I don't, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it anymore. It's a shame none of you guys can really, like, play as much as needed or travel for any tournament play. You don't have to be 18 to enter a lot of these tournaments as long as your parents sign consent forms, but just the time you have to put in, the freedom of being able to play and being able to travel for tournaments, that's definitely something that's easier to juggle if you're over the age 18 because you don't have to worry about like rules and laws that abide to minors or parents. But you still, you know, worst thing is if you're over 18, you might have to actually like pay for your plane ticket yourself. <laughs> your hotel room yourself versus if you're like 16 or 17 or even younger and your parents are like oh if i pay two thousand dollars there's a chance you're gonna win a million oh okay <clears throat> well right now we've got uh we got a new team forming up for a call of duty tournament hopefully by next summer we'll be in there going hard but the problem is i'm not gonna be involved with that uh I personally like you know call of duty tournaments just bore the shit out of me um nothing against the game i just the maps are so small it's just boring to watch battlefield's kind of gotten that way too battlefield 2 uh, the maps for combat were so big compared to the ones on battlefield 3 i've yet to see battlefield 4 so i don't know <coughs> there's a couple big ones on battlefield 3 and there's a couple small ones so they did pretty decent and i don't have oh shit nice i just got harm's way I needed one more uh, legendary combat MG, so each of my characters had one. That's good. Why? How is that possible? Dude, when I was running up to this guy, his name was green instead of blue. That was weird. I'll have to watch the show and rewind and see, but I'm pretty sure it was green just for a second. Yeah, I got it from a fucking random engram. Oh, and she just gave me some more engrams. Nice. Go to the temple on the moon. Go open those now. She just gave me a bunch of rare engrams. I don't know why. Come on, Gallahorn. Come on, Gallahorn. Come on, Gallahorn. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fucking amazing to get Gallahorn out of a fucking rare engram? Crap. All right, let me do some breakdown. I'm going to take a piss and get right out of here. Yeah, I got to get my hard light up, no land beyond up, uh, bad juju up, universal remote up, light of the abyss up, black hammer up. <laughs> There's so many guns. I got. Exotics. But it's also more about finding those really good legendary fallbacks because you can only have one exotic, so. I've never seen this gun, Harm's Way. Oh, it's standard Vanguard gear, okay. <clears throat> it's okay, it doesn't matter though. Like I said, I just don't wanna have to switch legendary guns. The only legendary gun I like to switch around is either Black Hammer and uh, Light of the Abyss, but that's also because I'm trying to get their skill trees up or Zombie Apocalypse. Just, you know, like I said, it's nice to have those go-to fallback legendary weapons. Ooh, nice. My uh, exotic helmet went up. Obsidian mine. Oh, that sucks. I don't have enough essence to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 